Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar and this is another episode from our Amazon review series. Uh, we've got uh, another, it's actually two packages. They were uh, actually together, you can see the tape, they were actually taped together in one thing. And uh, this one is also a requested by this company, Placino. And uh, as you can read right here, this is of course a fishing rod. Now uh, the other box here is the rest of the kit. Let's go ahead and open it up. We'll check out all the stuff that it came with and uh, see what kind of rod we got, see what kind of uh, equipment we got and uh, you know, kind of take it from there. All right, so here we go. We got a handful of pieces here. Uh, you can see a lot of stuff spread out. Um, of course, here's the rod itself. There is the, uh, the uh, spinning reel. Uh, it did come with some uh, some line. It came with a handful of different uh, pieces of tackle, including some snap swivels here, and then it also has the instruction book. And uh, one nice thing is this uh, rod actually did come with a case here. Uh, it is a two-sided case, so you put uh, one in either side to keep them from smacking around together, and uh, that's kind of nice, kind of keeps it in good condition. But uh, first thing we'll do, we'll take a look at the rod itself. And uh, this rod is uh, its pretty long. Uh, if we read on the thing here, it says it is a seven foot medium action rod. And they say that it is good for four to 10 pound fishing line and uh, one eighth to three quarter ounce lures. Uh, now this says a uh, a uh, nice kind of cork handle to it instead of uh, like some some of the cheapo ones uh, they have that foam rubber uh, this has the nice cork it's actually very solid uh, I'm actually very impressed with that it feels nice it's got some weight to it it has a little bit of uh, almost a rubberized feeling to it I mean it's definitely cork but it uh, almost seems like it's infused to kind of uh, increase its durability a little bit now the rod itself it's very cool um, and I do not think we will be able to get this to come through in uh, the camera but uh, it's basically like a kind of like a black but when you move it around under the light you get these bands of kind of a, uh, like a dark golden color um, the easiest thing I could say is if you've ever seen uh, Basically, there a semi-precious gem zone called uh, uh, Tiger's Eye. Tiger's Eye is uh, black with this dark kind of gold that goes through it. And as you move it, it kind of has a holographic effect. And that's actually what this looks like, is it has that kind of holographic effect to it. Uh, but it's very, very nice looking. It's actually one of the nicest looking rods I probably have. Uh, now, as you can see here, it is, of course, a uh, rod made for a spinning reel, so it does have the long standoffs uh, for uh, the line and everything. We, of course, have one on the base piece here, and then there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven total on the upper piece, and uh, it has uh, actually has quite a few at the end here. Uh, they get much closer together. Uh, I, I know that sometimes that can help with uh, the type of action that it has. So, uh, you know, think that uh, will be nice. And then it does have a very nicely reinforced tip. Uh, a couple of surrounds around the outside there, as well as the center piece that lets it hang down from the tip and everything. So, very nice looking. Um, has a nice little bit of firmness to it, definitely like it should with being a medium action rod. And uh, the fact that it's seven feet, that's nice. Um, that uh, that gives you a nice long casting ability and everything. And uh, it gives you uh, certain abilities to do different things for flipping or casting or anything like that. Now we'll go ahead with the reel. And uh, the reel is, uh, well, it's a combination. It's, it's a metal and plastic. Uh, now it does have a left or right hand uh, uh, operation here where you can take and put uh, the knob on either side there and uh, you have basically your standard kind of uh, tensioner as you can hear now this is the EW 
3000 model uh, and it is let's see it is rated for uh, line capacity the two pounds is 180 meters three pounds is 110 meters and four pounds is 100 meters uh, so it, it, it says it has fairly lightweight line I would definitely not think that this would have a problem holding something much heavier than a four pound line um, you know I, I would easily put a, uh, a 12 pound or 15 pound line on this and I believe that it would probably be able to handle it uh, now the gear ratio on this is 5.2 to 1 uh, so of course for uh, every time you turn that uh, handle around you uh, will see this go around 5.2 times it has a 9 plus 1 uh, ball bearing set in this uh, so I believe the, the 1 is usually with uh, the cranking arm and the 9 are actually with the movement of the uh, of the spool and everything there so very nice it actually spins very cleanly alright so uh, there we go with that now uh, the line that they sent with us is uh, it does say three pounds uh, it is a 0.28 millimeter and there is uh, supposed to be 120 meters of it on the spool here so uh, according to this it's uh, it's uh, just enough to go ahead and fill this up with uh, they do say again it, they say 110 this uh, an extra 10 meters 10 meters would probably fit an extra 10 on here because I definitely think that uh, this is not going to fill up that uh, that spool now it did give they did give us uh, three uh, snap swivels and these are kind of the barbell style uh, snap swivels the open wire uh, and then we've got a small fishing kit here and uh, let's see what we got in the fishing kit so in the fishing kit they did send us a handful of different things let's see if we can get everything out of here it's a little bit tight now we've got uh, a uh, well a, a translucent crankbait and this one actually has the uh, the the beads inside of it that give it that extra rattle when it's going uh, this is kind of a translucent blue with kind of a, uh, a yellowish type of head there and has kind of has a couple of uh, black spots and then of course a couple of uh, of uh, treble hooks on the on the back and on the center there so uh, there's one of them. We have got oh a soft kind of a soft body bait here, and this one actually hooks in from the top. Uh, so of course it's going to have a much different action. Uh, now this is just still uh, kind of very square and blocky, and you can feel the uh, you've got a weighted head, so it's definitely going to want to sink down that way and then you've got kind of this solid bar that goes to the back and I'm sure that's where this little loop comes into play here and then of course you do have your two um, treble hooks on that we have a handful of these little uh, basically larva or uh, kind of they're kind of an orangish color um, but they're basically like large maggot uh, kind of lures uh, or baits or whatever um, with the uh, big old tails there so we've got those now I have to look it up it probably says in there but we've got some uh, some wide gap hooks here I'm gonna guess these are probably somewhere in the four to six aught range there's three of those these are pretty heavy weighted heavy gauge oh looks like we've got not three but four of them I, and I, I am forgetting what these are, um, what the proper name for these are, but they're very large. Um, I'm very, I'm actually kind of surprised. These are, these are very large uh, in terms of the the heads here. Uh, very heavy weighted. They are, they actually have um, the circles on top and bottom, so you can have it so the hook is running from underneath, or you can have it so the hook is running from above. Uh, so very nice and of course these are uh, definitely big enough to put your uh, basically your maggot type or uh, 
uh, maggot type ones on there. You can put, uh, of course, you could put some uh, some worms um, or stick bait of any kind on there. And uh, again, these are these are fairly large and and fairly heavy too. Uh, uh, we do have a couple more. It looks like we've got a few more of the snap swivels. Looks like they must have fallen out. Um, we've got some, a couple of large bullet sinkers there. Um, these are very large as well. So uh, definitely, definitely geared for for large baits and uh, large uh, tackle here. Uh, and then we've got some some other stuff. The uh, the brass. I think these are like kind of a a brass uh, bullet as well. Um, so we've got a couple of those. We've got uh, looks like a half a dozen or so of the uh, the little beads there um, that you can use, which I've never really used those too much, but uh, I do know that they can be helpful and uh, actually need to learn how to use them. So not bad, honestly, uh, especially for the money. Um, I think this is pretty decent. I mean, these are these are decent types of uh, types of lures and baits and everything, as well as some of the extra pieces there, the hooks and the um, the sinkers and whatnot. Um, and so that's nice. Those are nice to have. And I think that uh, between the rod and the reel here, uh, I think they'll be a really nice um, setup. But uh, for the price, this is definitely not bad at all. Um, again, I don't know if I would go with quite such a lightweight um, line, uh, but it, it is only rated up to 10 pounds, so I would probably go with a 10, maybe maybe a 12 pound line. Um, 12 pound probably be okay on it. And uh, something else to mention, you do have the little loop here, and if you guys didn't know what these loops were for, um, uh, I, I took me forever before I learned what they're for, but it's actually to hook your uh, lures on so uh, you don't have to sit there and take them off or you don't hook them on the eyes. You just hook it clear back here. Um, when you uh, reel in, you just let it come down and, and hook it at that back little thing there. If you guys are uh, interested in this, of course, you can go down there in the description below. We will have a link to that uh, as well as links to our social media. And on your way down or on your way back up, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button as well. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit one of the buttons in the corners or the one down below, that big red one. Those are all for subscribing. And uh, if you do that, uh, make sure you uh, hit that little bell icon. You ring that bell so you get notified when we got new videos coming out here on World of Me. All right, guys. Well, my name's Cougar. This is, of course, the world of me, another episode of the Amazon Review Series. I would like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.